Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another tutorial. And in this one, what we're going to look at is going to look at alphas. Just how do we create alphas within Blender, out of meshes, turn them into a height map or texture, and then make them useful where we can use them in something like Substance Painter or another program like that. We are going to be using X Normals, and this is X Normals. This is what it looks like. So I'll put the link down below so you can go and download that. It is totally free to use forever. So go and download that, and then you'll be able to follow along exactly what I'm doing. So with all that said, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to bring in a plane. So let's press Shift A, bring in a plane, and you don't need to scale this up anywhere. Um, X Normals sometimes moans this is a little bit small, but we should be fine for what we're doing. Then we'll go to File, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in um, a mesh that I've already created. When I've actually shown you how to do this, you'll realize that you can basically create any mesh and use that to do exactly what we're doing with this. So let's go to import and I'm going to import an FBX and I'm going to bring in something called Skull Mesh FBX. And we'll just lay it load in. And at the moment, my mesh has got all the uh, shops um, actually on there. So I'm going to take those off with Control E. I'm just going to clear shops and now you'll see that it's actually smoothed out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit because obviously um, when you're actually doing a alpha or something like that, obviously we can't have it right up here and it's going to take all this and turn it into high. It's just too much. So we have to bring it down just a little bit to the parts that we'd really like. So we can see here that these maybe something like here where we've got just these little bit of lumps here. You might want that. And then what we'll do is we'll add a modifier. So add a modifier and we're going to add a boolean. And we're going to click on object and we're actually going to click on this plane here. Then we're going to come across to difference. I'm going to go down to union. And now what that's done is it's joined these two together. And because we didn't move it at the start and this plane appeared right in the middle, when I bring now another plane in, it's going to be right in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press apply. And now you'll see that if I turn this off, you'll see we've just got a plane and then we've got a plane with our skull, exactly what we want. So now what we'll do is we'll make sure we clicked on the skull and we're gonna export it out as an OBJ. So export OBJ. If you don't actually have OBJ on there, come to preferences, go to add-ons, in the search, put in OBJ, and you'll have something called import, export, wavefront OBJ. Just make sure this is ticked, refresh, close it down. Now come to file, go to export, and find Wavefront OBJ, give it a name. So I'll call it uh, Skull HP for high poly. And the other thing you wanna do is make sure that you've got selection only on, which is this board here, just so we're not exporting the plane and the skull at the same time. Come down to where it says geometry, and just, I get in the habit of always make sure that I have this tick, triangulate faces. It just makes sure that if we send it through to ZBrush or X Normals or a Substance Painter, there's gonna be no problems with N-Gons or anything like that because it's gonna triangulate the faces for us anyway. The thing is, when you're sending this through to game engines and things like that, games engines always triangulate all the faces regardless. So it makes absolutely no difference. So let's press Export. And now what we'll do is we'll come to our plane, come to File, and we'll also export this out. So Export OBJ, and I'll just call this Plane. LP for low poly. And now what we'll do is we'll actually bring up X normals. And this is what you'll be greeted with. So the first thing you wanna do is go to high definition. And this is basically where you import your high poly mesh. So if we right click on this bar anywhere around here, add meshes, and then you're gonna to go to your skull HP or whatever you're using, right click, bring it in. Let's go to low definition meshes, right click, add meshes, plane. And the only thing that you want to do now is you might want to change this maximum frontal ray distance. Basically, the higher it is, the more depth you'll get to your mesh. So sometimes if it's a little bit low, it means it might cut out the nose or the teeth on the skull or whatever you're using. So I'm going to change this to something like four. And I think that will be high enough for what we're doing here. Next thing we have to do is go to baking options. You want to set where actually this is going to be output to. This is basically the height map or the texture. So just click on here, set where it's going to go out to. Next thing, make sure all of these are clicked off first. So click clear all and then just pick height map. After that, 
make sure that the edge padding is going to be on zero we don't actually need any edge padding and make sure your bucket size is on 16. everything else should be pretty much standard same as the 2048 um, resolution size and then all we need to do is we need to come down we just need to click this button that says generate maps you will get a warning as i said which tells you that it's a bit too small um, for the liking of x normal but it should be absolutely fine so let's just click ok and now what i'll do is i'll just speed it all this up till it's finished And there we go when it's finished you'll be greeted with this screen if you just move this down and move it across you should be able to see exactly what it is that you've turned into an alpha so now if you put smoothing on you'll see it makes it much much smoother around these edges so it makes the alpha much smoother when you're actually putting it on um, to a mesh or something like that and if you turn this up you can make this darker then and get a lot more um, visibility there so that it highlights the teeth more or less depending on how you want it so here you're free now to really really play around with your actual um, alpha and I have tried to um, put preview mode to fit window um, but even if you make it bigger you'll see that it's still quite squished but it does give you an overall feeling of how it's going to look so I'm going to put that back down and at this point now I'm going to go into Substance Painter and show you actually how to apply this to a mesh. So for those who have got everything that they need, thanks for watching and if you liked it give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. So for everyone else now we'll go on over to Substance Painter and I'll show you how to actually do this. So here we are in Substance Painter and the first thing I want to do is I just want to bring in a um, new mesh that we can actually test this on so I've got a test mesh it's just a cube and I'm going to use that just to actually show you how this works I've just pressed select selected the test mesh and now I'm going to click OK and then you'll see that the test mesh will appear if I zoom out and there we go next thing we want to do is we always want to bake out the uh, mesh before we do anything else so let's click bake we need to turn off ID we don't need ID and the only other thing that we need to turn on is use low poly mesh as high poly mesh because we haven't got a high poly. So I don't want to go into too much detail about this. I'm sure that if you used Substance Paint before, you know exactly what I mean with this. So let's click that on, bake the textures out, and then we're free to now bring in our alpha once this is done. So now that it's done, I'll click OK. I'll bring in a new group. I'll just delete this layer. And then what I'll do is I'll bring in a fill layer. I'll drop that on top of my group. I'll change the color of this just so I can see which uh, one it is. I will come to my folder and right click and I'll click add black mask. And now what I want to do is I actually want to bring my alpha in. So I'm going to pull my alpha now from this side and just drop it anywhere down in the shelf and you'll end up with this that comes up and all we need to do now is just change where it says undefined, click on it as alpha and then just bring it in to either your shelf or current session and click import. And now if you go to search and you just put in skull or whatever you've named it and you see here is mine it's appeared here and now you can see if i bring it in make it bigger let's make it a little bit bigger than that so let's make it 200 alt and shift both together just to level it up and now i can plant my alpha right in the middle of here and you'll see it appears like this so we've not quite finished yet if we actually bring in now a material so i'm going to bring in a smart material let's bring in a nice metal or something like that so i'll do a search and i'll just bring metal and i'll use the silver armor so i'll drag that over and i'm going to drop it in between both of these and now you'll see that we do have a kind of silver armory skull but it's still not protruding out of the mesh so all we need to do now is just add in another fill layer so if we click on there take off color leave on height and now if we come down here we can actually pull out our skull or pull in our skull just like that so i hope you found this tutorial useful if you did give me a like guys check out the links down below and uh, hit that subscribe okay everyone i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot bye bye